In this video, I will show you how to protect your digital downloads, and stop hackers from stealing your products. One of the problems with selling digital products online is that it is so simple to do. Anyone can set up a website or blog, upload a PDF file, or software file, and add a PayPal button to accept online payments. But most people have no idea that it requires only a few simple steps for hackers to get access to your downloads. Here are six basic security steps that anyone selling digital products online must take. They only take a few minutes to do, and you do not need any programming knowledge. But before we continue, please hit the like button so this video will reach more people, and also, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Thanks for your support. Step 1. Always zip your files. The biggest problem when sellers store their downloads as plain PDF documents, is that it's easy to be found. For example, if you sell an ebook, and upload it as a PDF file to your web hosting company for customers to download, the file can be found by Google and other search engines. Yes, Google can read and list PDF files and if you are selling PDF files online, you certainly don't want that to happen. This may not be a big problem for PDF newsletters or reports, but you should never store a product you want to sell as a PDF file, unless it is password protected, or stored inside a folder. And it can get worse. Google also converts your PDF files into HTML documents, so ordinary browsers not only have access to your PDF file, but they can even download your source file as well. The next logical step for hackers is to customize your content with their own links, compile it into a new ebook, and sell it or give it away online. They are stealing your content, and you will never find out, unless someone tells you that they found, and bought, your ebook on another website. A simple way of keeping your files out of the reach of hackers and thieves is to upload them as a zip file. You can download a copy of FileZilla to upload zip files to your web server. It's free, and does a great job. I will leave a link to the program in the description box below. Search engines cannot look inside zip files, so this is an easy way to secure your downloads. Step 2. Create a 404 error HTML file in every folder of your web account. It acts like a curtain that keeps your files away from prying eyes. You can also make a simple index HTML file with some text on it. But I prefer to use a 404 file because it allows me to redirect my visitors to a special offer. Since human beings are emotional creatures, an error page is an opportunity for you to make your visitors feel welcome. A folder without a 404 file is like a house without walls. You're allowing everyone to directly access the root directory of the folder where you store your downloads. Let me show you an example on my own website. When people try to look up a download link, they see this 404 error page. Notice that I offer the visitors a special offer. Step 3. Show thieves and peeping toms the exit. You can use a simple script to redirect hackers back to your home page. The easiest way to do it is with a meta refresh tag. I will add the HTML code to create this tag in the description box below for you to download. Add the meta tag code between the header tags like this. Replace my URL with your own website link, and copy and paste the code in between the head tags of your document, and upload it to your web server. When people visit the page, they will be automatically taken back to your home page. Step 4. Spider-proof your download pages. To prevent search engine spiders from reading and listing the download pages that link to your ebooks or products, add the no robot tag in the head of the web page. This tag tells the Google spiders that this page is not to be indexed, so it will never show up on a search. I will leave a link in the description box below to the web page where you can copy the code or your own pages. Step 5. Change your download links often. To prevent unscrupulous people from stealing your download links, you should change the folder, or the file name, where you store them from time to time, even if it means having to change the download links. Hackers are sharing download links in forums and message boards, and if you change the names, they will no longer work. And Step 6. Protect your PayPal order buttons. Many sellers forget that everyone can view the source code of a web page where a PayPal button is added. 
If you look into the code where the order button is placed, you will also see the download page where the customer will be taken to after completing the order. You can see an example of an unprotected page here. When you view the source code of this web page, you can see the PayPal code, and the link where the product download is located. Of course, this is not a working link, but just an example of how thieves can steal your product. If you use PayPal to accept online payments, you really need to protect your PayPal order button code. The easiest way to do this is with a simple script like PayPal Generator. It's a handy tool that will encode your PayPal order button, so nobody can see where the download page is located. Enter your PayPal email, the product name, the download and sales page links, choose a PayPal payment button from the list, or use your own order button, and click the little encrypt code checkbox below to copy and paste the code into your sales page. Now, nobody can see the download link in your web page HTML code. It's a fantastic tool to use if you sell digital products online, and you can even set up recurring payments, this is very handy if you have a paid membership site. I will leave a link in the description box below, so you can use it to secure your own order buttons. Okay, these are some of the best tips to protect your digital downloads. Please feel free to leave a comment if you know another way to keep hackers and thieves from stealing and illegally distributing your content. If you like this video, just smash the like button, or even better, subscribe to my channel, and hit that beautiful notification bell to be the first one to find out when I post a new video. Thanks for watching to the end, and have a great day.